Did Cynthia Bailey just confirm that the producers offered her a friend contract to return for season 14 of The Real Housewives of Atlanta? And does Kim Zolciak's daughter believe that The Real Housewives of Atlanta should actually end? Welcome back to the Kempire Daily YouTube channel where you get daily and consistent hot topics in music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So as you know, people have been reeling from all of the Royal Housewives of Atlanta news this week. Not only did Cynthia Bailey quit the show this week, Portia Williams quit the show. And people have been speculating as to why these ladies decided to leave. And who will be returning? If you missed out on any of the tea in regards to the rumored housewives that may be joining season 14 next year, be sure to check out the channel. But let's talk about Cynthia Bailey. As you know, people have been speculating for a while now that she had been fired from, from the Real Housewives of Atlanta. But in a new interview with Daily Pop, she reveals that they actually did offer her a friend contract. Let's get into what she said. You, they actually offered me a friend contract. Well, did I say friend contract? I yeah. came with friend contract. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said friend contract. Uh, ironically, I actually introduced a friend contract on the show. <laughs> <laughs> but this neither here nor there. And I thought, you know what? That may be a perfect way for me to transition. I don't have to commit completely full, fully to being a housewife. And I can be a friend and kind of phase myself off the show. And then I just thought, you know what? You just cut the cord. Cut the cord. So we speculated that possibly the producers would offer Cynthia Bailey a friend contract. Remember, Cynthia Bailey has been a part of the franchise for over 10 years. That means she's she is definitely asking for a lot of money. The rumors, according to our friends over uh, Tamara Tattles and Love B. Scott, they've been rumoring that Cynthia Bailey was not going to return. Because, you know, look, Cynthia is a hefty paycheck. And for the price of her, they could get two new housewives. And all of you have said that you're over Cynthia. You feel like this last season really finalized Cynthia's story. But according to Cynthia, and it makes complete sense to, to us, they did offer her a, quote, friend contract. And that friend contract, I'm pretty sure it's not even close to the amount of money that Cynthia was already making. And according to her, she's like, you know, I could have easily taken that. And, you know, you don't have to give up as much when it comes to your storyline and time in order for that contract. But she's like, you know what? Let's cut the cord. Let's move forward. And that actually might be the reasoning behind her doing this. Cynthia has launched many businesses. Cynthia has so many other things that she's working on, including another show coming to Bravo, according to her in a, a, a recent interview. So... It makes complete sense to me why she would be like, you know what, I'm not going to do or go through all of this just for that amount of money. Who knows how much they offered her, but I know it's nothing in comparison to what she was making as a housewife. But either way, I know there are going to be people that will miss the balance and level-headedness that Cynthia Bailey brought to this city. I will miss Cynthia, and I'm glad that she decided for herself that this is not what she needs to be doing, that there are other and bigger and better things that she could be doing. Look, and we're, not, we're already not sure what this new season will bring and why not leave on somewhat of a high note. She left on a high note. She got married. She's in love. Let's close out the story. The end. Let's talk about Kim Zolciak's daughter, Brielle Bierman. So Brielle decided to take to social media. The first tweet that she posted was, no Nini, no Kim, her mom, no Portia, no Phaedra. What's the point, RHOA? And a lot of people were like, why are you weighing in on this? What, why are you saying any of this? So she further replies and says, everyone's so hot and bothered about me adding Kim as if she wasn't giving you drama, extraness, trashy, classy, funny, one-liners for years. Please give credit where credit's due. Everyone knows Kim and loved her at one point, even if you don't, don't now. Sour apple bitter bitches. I mean, a lot of you have said that you are open. Even Carlos King said that he, if he was to do the show again, he would bring back the original ladies, the OGs. And that includes Kim. Kim gave us some classic moments. I know we didn't watch Tardy for the Party, but she definitely gave us some classic funny moments on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. And we all were excited, I think, 
when she made that short return. That short return, though, for us, I think kind of turned us off to Ken Zolciak Bierman ever coming back to the Real Housewives of Atlanta. I think a lot of us truly believe we don't need to go back to an old formula. What we need are interesting people to come back to the Real Housewives of Atlanta and be it people that we don't know. And we can create the new Ninis or the new Charades, but completely different people. Guys, as always, I want to know your thoughts on Cynthia turning down this friendship contract and what Brielle had to say about the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And look, a lot of you have been saying the same thing as her, though, after this this week. Let's continue the conversation in the comment section. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching.